After watching Elemental, will you be asking, what are you doing, Pixar? Will you demand that the head of the studio be fired? Or does it rock? Okay, that last pun blows. What's up, my dude? Your friendly neighborhood Tony here, and I just got home from watching the latest Pixar animated movie, Elemental. And as I always do, I want to let you know whether or not this movie is worth you heading on down to the theaters to check out. If that kind of thing sounds cool to you and you want to see more movie reviews, trailer reactions, and ranking videos, make sure you subscribe. So as I do with all my reviews, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the movie so you know what you're getting into. Then we're going to go over the pros and cons, and finally, who I think this movie is for, if anyone. For those that are not in the know, Pixar is the studio that brought you such massive hits as Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and even Cars. And although they have a ton of movies that are absolute classics in the world of animation, their past handful of movies haven't been as successful as they wanted. Even though I do like quite a few of them, they just haven't made much money in the past five or so years. So will Elemental pull them out of their slump, or is it just another one to add to the pile? A quick little plot summary about the movie. Elemental follows Ember and Wade, who are a fire and water elemental, respectively, living in a city where fire, water, air, and land elementals all thrive. The fiery young woman, Ember, and and the go-with-the-flow guy Wade are about to figure out something elemental, just how much they have in common. Shout out to IMDb for that plot summary. Now, the movie is directed by Peter Son, who I believe his only other directorial work is with The Good Dinosaur, another Pixar flick. And I believe this is the first time Pixar has ever dipped their toe into a rom-com, a straight-up rom-com. Unfortunately, they really didn't market this one well. I haven't seen a lot of commercials or trailers about the movie, even though I did react to a couple of them. And for some reason, they decided to release the movie at the Cannes Film Festival this year, which is a weird move for a movie like this. Of course, it didn't really receive very positive reviews at the festival because it's, well, not the type of movie that they would be looking for. Although I have noticed since it's been released to a wider audience, the reviews have been a lot more positive. So let's get into my pros and cons here. I'll start with the pros as I always do. And for one, I have to say the animation with this movie is absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's Pixar and they are known to be leaders in the world of animation. And what they do with the elementals in this movie, whether it's with Ember and the way her fire reacts to the world or with with Wade and how the water reflects everything and you can kind of see through him the entire movie, it's really fascinating what they do with the animation. It looks gorgeous. The city that they're in is absolutely stunning. When they first kind of reveal the city that the movie takes place in, it's so clever the way everything is set up for all the different elemental characters. And it just looks gorgeous. In addition to that, I really like the main characters of the movie. As I mentioned a little bit in the plot summary, Ember is a bit of a hothead, but she's also very relatable. As far as Wade is concerned though, it did take a minute for me to kind of get used to his his character. He is incredibly over emotional the entire time. And part of the joke about his character and really his whole family is that they are hyper, hyper emotional and are constantly sobbing uncontrollably. And of course, because they're water elementals, it's always really ridiculous and over the top every time they bust out in tears. So that took a little getting used to at first, but eventually he becomes really endearing and you really start to like his character. I also like what they did with the communities in this movie. It's really more than just a rom-com. It's an immigrant story. Ember and her family come from a fire nation. I forget exactly what they call it, but they are immigrating over to this element city. And as so many large groups of immigrants do when they find themselves in a new city or in a new country. They tend to congregate around the same part of town. So you have this fire region where all of the fire elementals are living. And then there's the rest of the city where the water and the air and the earth elementals are all kind of living together. So it does a good job of painting this picture of what it's like to come to a new world where you might feel somewhat out of place and to be able to build a life there. And of course, all the complications that come along with that. The movie definitely doesn't shy away from things like racial bias or social socioeconomic status and the difficulties there. So props to them for doing more than just being a basic rom-com. I also really like the authenticity of how they reflect Ember and her family and what it's like to grow up an immigrant and in an immigrant community. If you've come up in that kind of environment, then you absolutely know all of the characters that they show in that world. There's also a fair bit of family drama in the movie. So aside from the overarching conflict of dealing with the differences between cultures and beside the love story that's going on between Ember and Wade, you have Ember coming to terms with who she really wants to be as a person and all of the weight of being a first generation child whose parents came over from another country with specific dreams and goals for you. It's really kind of juggling a lot of different stories and a lot of different conflicts in the movie. But at its core, it is a rom-com and when it focuses on that romance story between Ember and Wade, it is fantastic. When it comes to Pixar movies, you might be asking yourself, is this something that is just for kids or just for adults? And I would say this is something the 
entire family can enjoy. I was supposed to go see it actually a day earlier, but I gave my tickets to my sister so that she could take my niece and nephew to watch the movie. My nephew's eight, my niece is four, and they both absolutely loved it. You know, of course, they're little kids, so they pretty much love whatever the most recent animated movie is that they've seen. But aside from them, my sister and her husband both also really enjoyed the movie. So yeah, I do think this is something the entire family can enjoy together. And if you can kind of connect to that immigrant story, there's definitely going to be a lot that you get out of this one. Now, of course, no movie is perfect, even Pixar movies. So I do have probably just one con when it comes to this one. And that is, as I mentioned, there are a lot of different wheels spinning in this movie. There's the romance story, there's the family drama, there's the immigrant story, there's the socioeconomic aspect of that and the racial aspect of that. But then they start to loop in all of these other conflicts that it just becomes a bit overwhelming. There's a whole sub story in the movie about a dam and water coming through the dam and ruining a part of town that I felt they totally could have just done without or minimized that a great deal. They spend way too much time with it, in my opinion. So that kind of bogs down the progression of the story just a bit. Aside from that, though, I honestly loved pretty much everything about this movie. Is it one of the very best Pixar movies ever made? No, I don't think so. But I do think it's a cut above the ones we've been getting recently. And when you're dealing with Pixar, most of their movies are absolutely legendary. So when you're a pretty good Pixar movie, you are in fact a very good any other studio movie. And that's exactly what I think Elemental is. Also, I should mention, make sure you get to the movie theater on time if you're going to watch this one. There's a short before it that I think you're absolutely going to love, especially if you're a fan of some of the more classic Pixar movies. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Also, I should mention, I saw this movie in 3D and I thought the 3D was very, very good. I tend not to watch a lot of 3D movies because I get a bit of motion sickness, but this was not bad at all. The 3D elements were very subtle. It would just added a bit of depth to the picture. So if you get the opportunity to watch it in 3D and if that's kind of your thing, definitely check it out. I would say it's worth the ticket. So to wrap it up, who do I think Elemental is for? Well, I would say it's for everyone. The entire family can enjoy this movie. The little, little kids are going to enjoy all of the goofy jokes and the beautiful animation and the adults are going to get a lot out of it as well. Now, of course, there are a bunch of movies coming out this weekend, so Elemental has a lot of competition. If you want to keep up to speed on everything that's going to be in theaters for you to watch, make sure you subscribe to my channel, though. I put out a video every week to let you know what movies are in theaters, and I try to review every single one. Also, if you dig this Pixar shirt, I'll go ahead and link it below for you. If you use that link, it's an affiliate link, so it does help out the channel, so I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, if you want to see more movie reviews just like this, make sure you subscribe. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Be good.